so in terms of like the quote unquote quality builds, I don't like saying my character has similar strength and dex, but I use one weapon that scales mostly with dex and one weapon that scales mostly mostly with strength. Which is why using lightning right now kind of sucks. I have almost even strength and dex, and the quality quality doesn't become good until I don't even know. It's like I think it was like plus twelve is kind of the depending on how much strength and dex you have. That's about when it starts to become decent. For low level PvP quality sets really shine for the weapon variety. Well, my damage actually is good, but I'm not getting that damage off of my weapons because I'm not getting I'm not getting quality scaling from uh, for my weapons. The case where I'm getting good returns are the weapons that can't be upgraded and thus have really really good high really high base scaling values and it's all my throwing shit. So you wouldn't think, oh, like the quality stats, uh, like, you know, they're not great because you can't get any scaling off of them. And it's like, or only the only, they're only great because you get, you can, you can use a lot of weapons or whatever. It's like, yeah, okay. But defense at low level is so important because the base AR values are so low. If I pop that physic, my 103, which is already really high for this level, is going to go to 121. It's like wearing, it's like back when in Dark Souls 1, when they didn't split things out into negation and defense. So, okay, so here's the reason why the fan daggers are so, like, why, like, you use them regularly and they suck. Like, oh, like, why would I ever use fan daggers? I tried them once and they did shit for, like, they did, like, 30 or 40 total damage point blank or something. And it's like, oh, this is, this is shit. And the reason why is because it has 37 base AR. It's like, you normally you look at that and go, this is shit, right? 37 base AR and a dagger? Why wouldn't I just use the, you know, the, the throwing daggers that do 67? That's not how this shit works. Fan daggers have two properties that are interesting about them. They have 185 scaling for decks. Regular daggers get up to 145, so they get more out of it at scaling path 3. The other thing, though, is that it's multiple projectiles. It's split damage. And split damage benefits higher from increases in AR, so your scaling gets better and better. Because I'm at the low end of AR to defense, especially with the fan daggers, every additional point of AR I can get out of those, just for decks, I'm getting uh, 1.85 times 0.5, so I'm getting about 90, 0.9 times 37, I'm getting about 0.5 from the strength. Yeah, I'm getting, so I'm, I'm literally throwing uh, a little bit more than the base AR for the daggers with at least four to six of these things, with the fan daggers. And because the AR is getting closer to, they're almost hitting one to one, the difference between, let's say, for example, one to eight and one to one is, is massive. You're going from 10% to 40% of your AR which means that like the I'm more than tripling the AR per dagger or the net the net damage for the daggers. And honestly, because I'm getting closer to I'm not just like I'm I'm almost 30 30 as it is and then I'm getting closer to I'm hitting 34 38. I might be hitting like 80 AR plus per dagger for the fan dagger and at a point blank range there's six of them. Downside to some of your builds with some of the stats you want to go for is it'd be around 180 to 200. I bet you can slim them down a lot without massive compromises, but the math has to work out really well. The biggest concern, I think, at higher level is you need to beat the growth of defense and you need to somehow manage the growth of AR. And that's tricky because like, at there's a point where it's like, how do you get enough negation to make the massive increase in AR not a problem? And beyond 80, I don't know a great way to do it. It's like, it's more like at that point, it's an arms race to see who can blow up the other person quicker. The ability to optimize your defense just doesn't make any sense. In Dark Souls 3, it was about level 60 or so, and past that, it just sucked.